Hello everybody again on Simply for the YouTube channel and welcome back. Today we will continue the possible sources of physical hazard in food parts 3 slash 4 which is site origin. Now let's continue about the preparation and storage. Maybe rusty uh, cattle, maybe from rusty barrels, rusty bucket surface or poor condition wooden barrels and containers and one of the most critical thing was the rusty tanks and pipes even the food pipes maybe we can mention now the storage stage any food containers if it is plastic if it's wooden if it's glass food containers all these containers when there is any cracks or breakage or lost parts this is a very critical uh, physical contamination for uh, the product now also the refrigerator poor pre refrigerator and deep freeze condition and cross contamination from the poor storage and also local lack of separation and food of food and uh, and the food not properly covered and dated also may cause a very critical physical contamination for the product from equipment and tools number b there is the broken knife parts missing parts of colored knives if it's colored mentioned we will explain it later on maybe from broken or rusty spoon and forks parts broken or rusty scrappers broken cookers and plates also maybe from strapping bottle tops plastic packaging broken equipment also the physical hazard maybe from the torn tissues paper parts and carton parts maybe from the food labeling itself and there is an important another thing with the cleaning tools the cleaning tools may cause a very critical physical contamination of the product like the wire uh, like the sorry the heavy duty sponge uh, sources also physical contamination the wire wool is very very bad in cleaning of the food contact surface because it can go rusty and can shed bits into the food as mr steve also uh, insisted in this part also the pen scraps was very bad in food processing areas maybe from cans ring top pole or any wooden tools flakes maybe from cutter or as mentioned in uk as stanley knives maybe this parts the tools also like brushes but lost uh, parts even its cleaning plastic brushes uh, kitchen silicone brush metal brush wooden wire brushes and its bristles this bristles was very tiny maybe you in the food industry they or in the catering they can't uh, diagnose it or find it maybe due to paint brush lost parts the last thing in this presentation today about the meat skewers. Uh, this is one of the tools uh, in uh, barbecue for, or uh, in barbecue of the meat, meat barbecue, also called wooden pile meat barbecue bamboo skewers, which is okay for raw food but not for cooked food. Uh, I have searched about a study that there is a study between uh, the stainless steel meat skewers and the bamboo skewers. It was done in Gent University in uh, Belgium. In Belgium, so uh, it revealed that the stainless steel meat skewers is better than the bamboo skewers due to formation of a chemical called PAHS which stand for the polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons which have carcinogenic effect so we must take care about using the stainless steel meat skewers because it's better and we must clean it very well before the usage thank you very much for your watch for watching my video and hope you like it and waiting for your feedback thank you very much And uh, at the end of my presentation, I want to thank Mr. Steve Pepper, the chair at Harrogate and District Health and Safety Forum, and also Mr. Steve was the admin of Food Safety UK Facebook group for his revision and correction for each slide in this presentation. Thank you again very much, Mr. Steve. If you want to visit his website, it was www.steve-pepper.com co.uk thank you very much everybody and you're always welcome 